Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel and today in this video, we are going to look at how we can set up the chat widget from Chatwood into an HTML based website so that the customers are able to start the communication. Now, in my previous video, I have shown how we have set up Chatwood on our local machine using a Docker setup. I'm running Chatwood on 127.001 uh, port 3000 and this is the thing and to generate a chat widget the first thing that we will have to do is we'll have to create an inbox and there are quite a few situation uh, shortcuts through which you can create the inbox but I will show you the typical stuff you go to settings you click on inboxes and you get add inbox over here now we are looking at a website because that will give us the chat widget. There are other integrations which if you are interested you can explore. For now we continue with the website. Now in here I will have to put in some information. Let me go ahead and do that. Now this setting over here says that I can greet the user with a starting message. So why don't we go ahead and add that as well. So with this, I'll click on create inbox. Now, once the inbox is created, you need to assign agents. Agents are like users who has access to inboxes. You can have view agents who have access to the chat, chat widget. Some are supporting your WhatsApp, whatnot. Right now, in our system, we only have one user, so we will just Go ahead and do that. There's not much of a choice for us. And we are done. Now this is the embed script that I need to copy paste into my HTML to see the chat widget. So now that we have our script, uh, embed script, what I will do is create an Nginx container and have an HTML file there where we will push this. So let's see. So because of this permission problem right now I am kind of uh, inside the uh, container or rather the folder of the data over here as root because you know, I'm not getting access to it. I'll have to solve that problem. But um, let's just say I create a folder called Nginx. And I'll do touch nginx index.html. Or rather, I can directly do nano. Now, I'll create a new file in VS Code, set it to be an HTML file, get the basic boilerplate, and I'll add the basic HTML code so that we are able to save this as an HTML that we would be serving. So this is my HTML file. I'll just copy everything, paste it over here. And now it's time to add the Nginx service in our Docker Compose. I'll take the latest image because Nginx typically is quite stable. We don't need to worry about it. I'll add the port and volume information as well. So this is where I'll put my file, the index.html because that's where by default Nginx looks for you know, files to be served. And two more things which I will add. One is restart always. And the second is because this is a very small container, I'll do a uh, memory limit to it. So I've restricted this to 10 MB and you can if required also add to other things for example over here you can do it for Redis as well but I'm not changing it right now but yes all these things are possible and with that what I will do is first let's see if the containers are running. I forgot whether they are and yes they do. So what I will only try to do is docker compose up um, 
nginx no docker compose nginx up dash d no uh, docker compose up nginx uh, maybe i'll do a dash d right and now if i do docker ps i can see my nginx container running on port 3001 which means if I come over here I can see the welcome to chat vote and I see the chat widget if I click over here start conversation now let's say hi it says hi hello there how can I help you give me a way to reach you So I'll put in my email address and now if we look at chat vote interface, let's go in, I'll go home, I can see an inbox over here, if I click on that inbox, I see a conversation, the hi is over here. Just for the demo, let's click, it comes up here. looks like it is working so that should be again visible on the chat so this is the end to end uh, of creating the chat widget <coughs> this was required so that we can now look at understanding how we can grab these messages which are you know doing this back and forth between the customer and the agent so that we can get in this conversation and read the messages and try to push informations which we feel would be helpful for the customer. So yes, this is what we wanted to cover in this video. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more such updates.